Hi friends and family, this is Ryan and Shauna and baby Harley, the Shy Bulls, <laughs> and we just have a few updates and announcements to share with you. So, I'm gonna share. So, um, <laughs> this last week, Ryan decided, so he got rained out of work, and on his way home, they basically said he was gonna be off work until like the next week. So, until like this coming, this past Monday, and um, so he was like, I'm just gonna go to Idaho and do the first part of our move and put stuff in storage. And I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, that sounds great. It's a little last minute, but that's fine. But um, he ended up getting stuck there with um, his transmission, decided to go. So, um, but in that, there was some really cool things that came out of that. So what was one of them? Yeah, so, yeah, I get up there and like the halfway of the engine light uh, comes on the minivan. I'm like, oh no, like this is horrible. And um, so I, but I made it up there and um, Shauna's parents were just such a blessing. Um, they went with me to the Honda dealership in Idaho and they paid for a brand new transmission to be put in our minivan, which was just incredibly amazing. amazing. And, um, so I, originally I went out there and I was only going to stay there for like a day and then drive back home the next day. And that was the original plan, but you know, like the Bible says, man plans his ways, um, but the Lord directs his steps. And so they said it probably pretty much take like a week to get the, the minivan fixed and this new transmission. And so during that time I started I'm sure a lot of you have seen like my devotional readings. Um, I'm just trying to encourage people during this um, hard time right now and just try to um, encourage people with devotions from the Bible. And so I've been doing daily devotions and um, during my week out there, um, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I ended up going to the Carpenters Union out there and seeing if they were hiring and they pretty much hired me right on the spot and said, you have a um, a job secure when you um, come here to Idaho and so that was just like such a huge uh, blessing um, to get a job out there and do you want to share the next one yeah so um, so he got a job and originally my parents were looking at um, purchasing a house and then renting it back to us um, but we just felt like the Lord um, just wasn't calling us to do that for some reason um there was like a couple things and one of them was you know we don't know what's going to happen in this market and a lot of the houses that we would be able to like they would be able to purchase um we would by the time we would go and buy it from them we would have probably grown out of the house um or we'd need something bigger not long after so we just felt like the Lord was just like closing doors. Um, and then we realized that we could get pre-approved for a house to buy. Um, but our pre-approval was like, we could we could buy a mobile home um, and that's it. Like that's the only thing we could afford. And um, we were just like, okay. So, and then we were looking at like rentals and we realized most rentals we couldn't afford. And we're like, okay. So this is really starting to look pretty bleak. Um, and then, you know, it was interesting, like, um, I think it was Wednesday, we came, Harley and I visited Ron and Shelly. And um, as I pulled up, I just like started crying because I was like, I feel like all my dreams are just like, um, and I just felt like the Lord, there was some, music playing I felt like the Lord just said like just worship me right now even though it doesn't feel good to do that and so I just did and it was the song that was playing was like I think the one that says you're faithful to provide you're always by my side even though I cannot see where you're leading me I am yours and you're faithful um and so that was just something that was like reminding me like yes God is faithful and um I just like I know that he like, I tend to be one that, like, believes that God is really going to, like, do something big and miraculous. Um, but 
by this point I was like, okay, I don't even know what's happening. Like, maybe it's not gonna happen. Um, and I was just starting to like question a lot of things and um, not necessarily about whether we were gonna go, but just like, do we stay here longer? Ryan got a job and he's supposed to start, um, he's supposed to start June 1st. So we're like, ooh, I don't know what to do now. Um, and so we were just a little confused. And the, that night, is it okay if I tell like the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, so that night, um, Ryan found a Craigslist ad, and I think both have been like very fortunate on Craigslist. Um, mm -hmm. I found the the place we currently live in on there, and then I found my last place, um, or the first place I rented um, on there. And we've had really just we've been blessed <laughs> through Craigslist. So um, he looked up on there, and there was a an ad for a home in um this area that we had found another place that we were looking at renting and we found out that we couldn't afford that one because the utilities that we were going to have to pay was just going to bring it way out of our budget and we're like thank you lord for revealing that because we didn't realize that we couldn't afford that <laughs> so it was just so sweet because ryan found this place and we said like we can't afford more than um a certain amount a month so whatever place we rent, it needs to include utilities. And this place included it. There was no pictures. There was not much of a description. But Ryan's like, it's in the same area that we love. Mm -hmm. And so we, um, Ryan emailed them. And I guess what ended up happening, well, um, so then the very next morning, I was in my quiet time with the Lord just telling him, like, God, I just want to, aside from everything else that I have said I wanted, I just want to live somewhere where I feel safe. Like that's my, the biggest thing that I want. Um, and if I could just have a place that I feel safe, that would be great. And so, and then I was just, I said, Lord, I believe you're faithful, but help my unbelief, you know? And then I opened up my Bible and I turned to Psalm 91 cause that's been encouraging in this season. And it was just talking about how God is our refuge. But then I looked like I glanced over and I saw Psalm 89. And in, in that psalm, it's just over and over about how God is faithful and how he um, made a promise to David about his descendants being numerous. And I thought it was funny that it, it said David. And I was like, well, he made a promise to Abraham, which was far before David. And by the time David came along, like Abraham's descendants were numerous and just how God was faithful in that. And then no sooner had I finished reading the part about God's faithfulness in Psalm 89, did I get a phone call from Ryan and Ryan was like, babe, you will never believe what just happened. And I just started crying because I already knew. So hmm. how about you share now? Yeah. So, so our two biggest prayer requests before we went to Idaho was uh, for the Lord to provide uh, for me to have a job. And then number two was for a house. And um, so God totally works out things for good to those who love him and who are called according to his purpose and um, so he hooked up a job out there during my week and then number two um, I found this ad on Craigslist like Shauna was saying and I you know we during that week I was looking at all sorts of different houses to rent to buy and we just didn't have peace about it and um, I was just like all right Lord like I don't know what to do, you know, and everything just seems so expensive or it's just not what you have for us. And so we were both feeling just kind of really defeated and, um, and I, I just kind of, I saw this ad, it had no pictures, but it was in the city that we wanted to be in or would, would love to be in. And, um, and the guy emailed me back the day that I was leaving Idaho to go back home to California and he said um, he actually called me and as I was putting our U-Haul back on the minivan to go back and he started interviewing me and you know asking about like my job here and just like you know who, who I was and he kind of stopped me when I, he was interviewing me he says you know what are these words that you're using? Like I heard you say a step of faith and um, someone in your life who's your Lord. And I said, that's Jesus Christ. And I believe he's like the only way. And um, he said, well, you know, I'm a Christian also. And I actually have a huge heart for 
pastors and pastor's wives and um, I have a huge heart for the good news of Jesus to be proclaimed to this world and so our new landlords are full-on believers who are on fire for Jesus and we told them that we wanted to plant a church um, inside of their house that they want to rent to us and they were just so excited and it's like seriously like the most perfect house to plant a church and we were just blown away by God's faithfulness and you know you hear it said and usually this is how it happens like God usually comes in at like the the ninth inning the last hour the last second and he totally did and um, the landowner said hey come over to my house right now um, I'm gonna let you in and you can tour the house to see if it's what you and your wife would like and and so we did and um, and it was just so awesome and it was everything that <laughs> that's Ron and Shelly yeah we we couldn't even just imagine um, or think something greater than we um, couldn't even think <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to cut this out we're filming a video <laughs> that's okay I distracted him <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Baba. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. So, um, what was really cool is Ryan wasn't supposed to even be there that day, so he got the mini van the day before. Um, and he actually left the dealership, so he was going to leave the very next morning. I think it was um, Thursday morning at like 2 o'clock in the morning. But when he got the minivan, um, there was a weird blinking light. And um, so he brought it back to the dealership. And it just so happened that it read an error that needed a part that they didn't happen to have. But they were getting right when they opened the next day and they could do the, the thing in half an hour. Um, so that's just interesting, you know. I don't think that's a coincidence, but um, had that part, had that all, <laughs> had not not happened, <laughs> um, Ryan would have actually been out of the state, and he wouldn't have been able to look at the, the house and um, or any of that. And this is actually, so I had like a lot of things that I was hoping to have in a house. And, you know, I've been dreaming of moving to Idaho since eighth grade, so a very, very long time. Um, 15 years, actually, um, I think. Yeah, this year it'll be 15 years. Um, oh, yeah. And this house is like, I mean, you know, the house is just a house, but um, it's just so exciting because even things I didn't even say out loud, that I wouldn't even utter out loud that I would like to have or things that would even just be nice to have but anything that I thought of this house has and I just feel like the Lord is like I see you I know you I love you I care about what you care about um and I know we don't always get like every single bell and whistle or whatever but I just think you know that was really a neat little thing that the Lord didn't just give us a house but he gave us like the house of our dreams he gave us a landlord that is um super stoked to see um us plant a church in our house um and it's just really super exciting and we get to start moving our stuff in on may 1st and so i guess some of our news is that um Hopefully we'll see you before we leave the state, but um, Ryan starts work June 1st, and so we're probably going to leave at least a week before that, um, right? Probably like the weekend before. Yeah, yeah probably the weekend before. So, so That's um, the plan, but it could change. <laughs> yes. So um, it's really exciting. We have, now we have a house, we have a job, um, and something also really neat is this house has an apple tree and one of the things I didn't speak out loud that I wanted was to be able to have like a garden or it'd be really cool to have a fruit tree and the owner said this apple tree just like is a super producing tree 
so it'll be neat too. I was just thinking of like, how can I help our family um, financially? And it's just amazing how like, I've actually become quite the cook. And I was just thinking like, I can make applesauce, I could make pies, I could do like lots of really cool things to help um, financially and bless people in the community and stuff. So that's just kind of like a really fun thing. Um, I think it really revived our spirits even a little bit as, you know, we were a little sad that we're about to move out of state and we weren't going to be able to even like hug people goodbye, you know, and, um, and then it was just like, and we can't afford anything and all that. Um, but it's just really cool. I just am reminded of God will do exceedingly abundantly above, um, far above what you can ask or imagine or even like think. And, you know, we limit God and we limit what he can do and and how much he cares and you know we have our own like ideas of how things are supposed to happen but God has his own economy like he put the owners so something really neat is that the owner said he actually couldn't even call his wife to tell her that he found renters because he was bawling so hard because he watched or he read Ryan's story on his website and he said, God, um, God held this house for you. Mm -hmm. And like, just think about that. Like, you may think that it's all over, like you're out of your resources and all that. And that's probably a good thing um, because when you're out of your resources then you can finally like, rely on God's resources. Um, I think it's a croquet ball that he's playing with. Um, whatever keeps him busy, right? Um, but it's just so neat because like, we didn't even know these people. But they were praying for, they literally were praying for who would get this house to rent. And they prayed over all the applications. And I don't know, it's just like crazy how God you know, uses like he uses the Holy Spirit inside of us to guide and direct us. And this never would have happened if we would have like moved forward with um, you know, my parents buying the house or, you know, whatever and who knows what could happen in the market and that might not have been um a really safe investment for them because like what if it tanks and then, you know, they're upside down on the mortgage. Like we don't know and it's just such a blessing. To know and also this guy's house is paid off so even if the market tanks he's not gonna be in a bad situation which kind of makes me feel good you know so it's just like really exciting for what the Lord um, the Lord is doing and I talked a lot your <laughs> turn. sorry yeah so yeah we're just blown away like I did not see this happen I thought I was just gonna do a quick trip and God totally answered just two of our prayers, um, that I get a job, that we get a house, and it was done way faster than we thought, and I mean, he just went above and beyond, and we're just so blown away. It's just like, this is totally God, and you know, he gets the glory because it was nothing that me and Shauna could have ever come up with or made happen, and um, so we're just super excited to be moving to Idaho and you know I think what an awesome time to, to begin a new church plant and you know people are hungry um, for just truth and for Jesus and um, we're so excited to, to go to Eagle Idaho and begin Bible studies in our house and just mm -hmm. use the house that God gave us um, to bless other people yeah. and you know it's God's house and we want to use it um, to make him famous. So uh, we're super excited for the adventure that God has us on. And just remember God is faithful. He answers prayers um, and he cares and he works all things out for good. Even a blown up transmission and me having to be away from Shauna and the baby for a week and a half, which was hard, but um, he totally worked it out for good, which is just amazing uh, to see his his um, handiwork and what, what he's capable of doing. So he's blown us away. <laughs> so 
This is the Shy Bulls with our update, and we love you all so much. And um, please reach out and say what's up. And yes, and we love social distancing um, gatherings. So if you would love to come and hang out on our patio, six feet away from us, um, of course, the guidelines, um, we would love to see you. Um, so we do leave at the end of May, and it's not looking like we're going to have like, a going away party because it doesn't look like that's going to be allowed. Um, I mean, who knows, but probably not. So yeah. we would love to have boba parties or... Totally, and even <laughs> once we do move and we, ha we don't see you beforehand, we'd love to see you in Idaho. And so come on out and we'd love to hang out out there and show you around. Um, the beautiful country. They call it God's country. Yeah, and it's just a short 14 hour drive. No yeah. big deal. Um, <laughs> or a plane ride. Boo. You know. Yeah. No, it's pretty Are you fun. excited? Yeah. You say We've ball. Got a fun backyard. Say ball. And a pink car. <laughs> Potentially a, a different color car. Ball? Yeah. They apparently have a lot of toys, so that's kind of exciting. Ball? ball? <laughs> Are we gonna play catch? Ball. Yeah. Ball. Are you gonna yeah. play t-ball yeah. with Papa when he comes to visit? Yeah. All right. Well, we love you, and we will talk to you later. All right. Bye. See ya.